Let me introduce you to Jim Carter, who's the Vice President of Institutional Advancement for Murray State University, a little bit west of here. Uh, right. Jim is a uh, past president of the Friends Board of KET. Tell me what's going on at Murray. Well, it's exciting times at Murray, Bill. It's been a great year for Murray State University. This year we had a record enrollment. We also completed a very successful uh, capital campaign and raised uh, 71 million dollars. And this time of year, we're of course right in the middle of basketball season and the racers are headed to Nashville. Uh, this weekend for the LBC tournament. Not quite the season you had last year, though. No, right? last year was amazing, and uh, our alumni across the world had a great time in following the racers, and it was a uh, just a great year. Well, I want you to tell us uh, and, and tell everybody that doesn't already know about the relationship that we have with Murray and everyone in Western Kentucky, because we air some of your programs, right. you air some of our programs. It's a real partnership. Our partnership started actually, Bill. You know, about 10 years ago when we started airing KET2 on our campus station. So that program, KT2, goes out to over 50,000 homes in our region. And also, as you mentioned, now we also provide our weekly news magazine program at KT yeah. Roundabout Youth. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We also, every year, we do our Holidays at Murray program, which has become a favorite of uh, viewers statewide and gives us a chance to showcase our excellent music program. And we know that, that you realize, and hopefully a lot of your viewers and our viewers who love public broadcasting really appreciate what KET does for Western Kentucky. Oh, absolutely. And it's so important for us because we need to know what's going on, you know, in the center and in the heart of the state. And the programs that you do, Bill, are so valuable for that. And also the statewide programming that KET does. And with addition to KTKY, it features so much, as Mac Wall said, from Pikeville to Paducah, and you, you know, it gives uh, West Kentucky a chance to uh, see what's going on across our long state, as well as we get to showcase what's happening in our United States. Exactly, state. and the shows that you do. Now, who's the who's the co-anchor of that program? That's uh, Sarah Clark. No, the co-anchor oh, co is that's you. Oh, me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You and Sarah Clark yeah. do such a great job, yeah, well, and we appreciate you. Murray. We appreciate all of our viewers in Western Kentucky, and we appreciate you being here tonight. Well, thank you, Bill. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. And if we you do appreciate it, let us know. Let Jim know by calling the number you see on your screen, 1-800-866-0366, or pledging online at KET.org.